Hi and welcome to a new video. If you are planning on giving or selling your iPhone to someone else, you should restore it to factory settings first. In this video, I'll show you how to back up your data first and the easiest way to restore it to factory settings. All you need is your iPhone passcode and your Apple ID password. Let's go! Restoring factory settings on your device will erase everything, so before resetting your iPhone, I recommend you to back up your data first. You can do this in three ways. Through iCloud on your phone, on your Mac, or on a Windows PC. Let's start with an iCloud backup because this is the easiest method. Make sure that you're connected to the internet. Now open Settings on your iPhone, then tap on your name, go to iCloud, and tap on iCloud Backup. If it's turned on, it will show you when the last successful backup was performed. If you turned it off in the past, enable iCloud Backup first, and press Backup Now. The backup process could take hours, so it's a good idea to charge your iPhone during the process. If you're having problems backing up your data to your iCloud because you only have the free 5 gigabit iCloud storage, you can watch our video on how to get more storage. You can click on the tag in the top right corner or follow the link in the video description below. If you don't want to back up your device on iCloud because, for example, you don't want to purchase more storage, you can use the next method which is to back up your files on a Mac or a Windows PC using the Finder or iTunes. If your Mac has Mac OS Catalina or later installed, use the Finder. For Mac OS Mojave or earlier, open iTunes instead to up your device. Let's start with the Finder. Connect your iPhone with a USB cable. I'm using an MFI certified Lightning cable so I'm sure that the data will be transferred. You can find a link to a good MFI certified cable down below in the video description. The original cables should also work just fine. Now open the Finder on your Mac and you should see your iPhone listed under Locations. If it's your first time connecting your iPhone to your Mac or a Windows PC, you need to confirm it with clicking on Trust on your iPhone and enter your passcode. Back on your Mac, there are two options. Either you back up your iPhone data on iCloud or locally store it on your Mac. Choose Backup All the Data on your Mac. You can also encrypt your backup by checking Encrypt Local Backup. Then create a password. Remember, this password will be required if you want to access your backup, so if you forget it, there's no way for you to access it. Then click on Backup Now and wait for the process to end. If you're using a Mac with Mac OS Mojave or earlier versions or a Windows PC, use the iTunes app. For Windows PC, it doesn't come pre-installed so you have to install the software first. You can find the download link below in the video description as well. Connect your iPhone to your PC and press Trust on your iPhone and enter your passcode. On your PC, if a prompt pops up, just click Continue. Open iTunes and click on the iPhone icon at the top left of your screen. From here, the process is similar to the one with the Finder. Now that you've backed up your data, let's proceed and reset the iPhone back to factory settings. On your iPhone, open Settings. Then go to General. Scroll down and tap Transfer or Reset iPhone. Now tap Erase All Content and Settings to proceed. By doing this, you confirm that you want to erase your iPhone. This includes your apps and data, Apple ID, Find My Activation Lock, and your Apple Wallet. So these settings will be removed from your device and the next person is able to use their own Apple ID without any locks. Confirm with Continue to proceed. Enter your passcode and your iPhone will start to wipe out all the data and restore itself to factory settings. It is possible that you have to type in your iCloud password to remove iCloud lock. Depending on your device, this may take a moment, but when the process is completed, your device will restart and you will be greeted with the hello screen. And that's it! 
If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.